We are in Colorado looking at outcrops of the Williams Fork Formation. And this is a particularly interesting formation in the sense that it's produced quite a lot of gas in the subsurface in the Peons Basin. And in front of us we've got two dual lateral channels. This is one of the channels, here's another one, here's the axis of one, here's the axis of another. And uh, you can see the sharp contact at the base. The dark color of the mudstones is because they're very organic rich, because these streams were carrying sand on the coastal plain. There's quite a bit of coal in here as well. But uh, the reason we wanted to show you these particular channels is because if, we, if I follow the channel towards the left, what you can see is as the channel thins, there's another sand continues. There's a very thin sandstone, and um, when we, if we hike up to the channel, the channel itself is a sharp scourer base, normally graded at the base, trough cross sets. But that thin sandstone that's extends that's extending towards the left from the channel, that is full of climbing ripples, and it gets thin very rapidly as you move away from the channel. And what that is is a levee. Okay, so these are levees associated with these fluvial channels. The quality of the sands and the levees are not as high as those of the channels themselves. You can see some more channels on top. Quite a few of these are amalgamated. But that just goes to show the difference between the channel thickness and the levee thickness. The levee itself is fining upwards because it indicates waning flow during the flood. It has quite a bit of, it's quite enriched in clays because as soon as that sand comes out of the channel it gets mixed in with whatever, whatever is sitting on the overbank.